Because they routinely pay out a portion of the company's cash flow directly to investors, dividend stocks might be an ideal alternative for investors searching for income because they are paid out on a regular basis. The finest dividend stocks really increase their payouts over time in line with the growth of the companies themselves and the profits they generate. Investors can increase their profits by compounding their investments by reinvesting dividends. Because of the unfortunate fact that dividends are only as valuable as the firms that pay them, picking the right stocks is essential for dividend investors. The past year has been a challenging one for investors, but owners of these 10 stocks that pay the highest dividends out of the Standard & Poor's 500 have at least been able to collect their consistent income payments. Here are the top 10 dividend stocks. Number 10. American Telephone & Telegraph Company It is a multifaceted firm that is involved in telecommunications, media, and technology. A solid fundamental performance for the company's core businesses in the second quarter was overshadowed by a number of factors, including expanding consumer payment cycles, growing macroeconomic headwinds, cautious management commentary on inflation, and accelerating declines in the company's business wireline revenues. Despite these factors, the company's core businesses performed well overall. It is experiencing positive momentum in terms of subscriber growth, as seen by the addition of 1.058 million post-made net subscribers in the quarter. Additionally, it has simplified its corporate operations by selling off its Warner Media holdings. On August 1st, the last price of a share of Bank of America stock was $18.73. The stock has a buy rating and a price target of $25. Number 9. Kinder Morgan It is largely concerned with natural gas and liquids, and it is one of the leading midstream energy firms in the United States. It transports 40% of the natural gas volumes in the United States, 50% of which is destined for export. The recent increase in the price of oil may also contribute to an increase in demand for the connected gas processing and logistics industry. European shortages should help maintain demand for liquid natural gas. A slowdown in the economy of the United States is the principal concern of investors in Kinder Morgan. In addition, there is room for the repurchase of shares in 2022. The Kinder Morgan stock had a closing price of $17.90 on August 1st, and CFRA has assigned it a neutral rating with a price target of $20. Number 8. Devon Energy Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, this oil and gas exploration and production firm based in the United States has been able to capitalize on the skyrocketing price of energy commodities. As of the 1st of August in 2022, its share price has increased by 39.8%, making it the best performing company on this list. In addition to increasing its dividend, Devon was able to fund a buyout of Rimrock Oil and Gas in the amount of $865 million in July thanks to the extra cash flow. The acquisition of Rimrock could be a precursor to larger mergers and purchases in the near future. The closing price of Bank of America stock on August 1st was $61.57. The stock is rated neutral, and the price target is $80. Number 7. Oniok Company it is an American oil and gas firm that operates in the midstream sector and specializes in the processing of natural gas liquids. As a result of recent supply cuts in Russia, natural gas prices have lately skyrocketed to their highest levels since 2008. This is excellent news for the gas demand in the United States. There has been an increase in the amount of work being done to complete wells in Oniok's core operating zones, which suggests that a fresh wave of demand for gas processing is just around the corner. It has a path forward for increasing its cash flow and future plant expansions will result in even greater volume. OKE stock, which had a closing price of $59.12 on August 1st, was given a buy rating and a price target of $76 by CFRA. Number 6. Simon Property Group Another real estate investment trust, this one owns and manages shopping malls in addition to community and leisure centers. Unfortunately, investors in Simon have not yet seen the post-pandemic resurgence they had hoped for so far in the year 2022. As of the 1st of August, the stock has lost 32% of its value year-to-date, making it the worst performer on this list. The direction that Simon provides is cautious, and there is the possibility that it will foster organic growth. The stock of Bank of America, which had a closing price of $108.63 on August 1st, is currently rated as a buy with a price target of $123. Number 5. Fornado Realty Trust Office Properties Income Trusts, also known as Real Estate Investment Trusts, are companies that focus on redeveloping office towers, retail locations, and urban central district office properties. This particular real estate investment trust specializes in redeveloping office towers. Pressure has been put on Fornado and other owners of office real estate as a result of the rise of the remote work environment. 
After two years of primarily working from home, employers are having a difficult time convincing their employees to return to the office. Occupancy rates at businesses are expected to continue to gradually improve, but it's possible that they won't return to pre-pandemic levels anytime soon. Even now, shares of Ornado still hold a large amount of value. Morningstar has assigned a buy rating to its stock and placed a fair value estimate of $43 on it. On August 1st, the stock price was $30.10 a share. Number 4. Pioneer Natural Resources the majority of Pioneer Natural Resources oil and gas exploration and production activities are concentrated in the West Texas region known as the Permian Basin. It is boosting its production in the Permian while keeping well expenses to a reasonable level. In 2022, Pioneer is unquestionably reaping the benefits of rising oil and gas prices. Yet inflation in the expenses of oil services is anticipated to become a near-term margin negative for the company. Its stock had a closing price of $228.10 on August 1st and CFRA has given the stock a buy rating with a price target of $295. Number 3. Altria Group One of the most successful and well-known cigarette firms in the world is Altria. It is no longer accurate to refer to Altria as a pure-play cigarette corporation. Altria's 10.2% holding in the alcohol industry's leading company Anheuser-Busch InBev SA accounts for around 15% of Gorham's valuation estimate for the company. In addition, during the course of the last few years, the business has made a number of strategic acquisitions in the vaping and cannabis industries, including holdings in Juul and Kronos Group. Even though the cigarette market in the United States is seeing a long-term decline, investors continue to find it appealing because of the industry's high profitability. Morningstar has assigned the shares a buy rating and places the stock's fair value estimate at $45, up from the $44.05 price at which it ended on August 1st. Number 2. International Business Machines International Business Machines, which is included in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, isn't as famous as it used to be. Since 2008, the company's sales have been going down steadily. This is because it is not a leader in key growth areas like social, mobile, analytics, and the cloud infrastructure business. It raised its quarterly dividend by a penny to $1.65 per share in 2022. This was the 27th year in a row that the dividend was raised. Since 1916, IBM has paid dividends every three months. Importantly, the company has the money to keep growing, which is something you would expect from the best dividend stocks. Number 1. Lumen Technologies In the year 2020, the American telecoms firm formerly known as CenturyLink changed its name to Lumen. It is now working towards selling off part of its assets, and on August 1st, the business successfully concluded the sale of its Latin American operations to Stone Peak, for a total of $2.7 billion. In August 2021, Lumen made the announcement that it intended to sell its traditional telecom company to Apollo Global for a total of $7.5 billion. The price of a share in Lumen has dropped by more than 50% in the last five years, yet the company has enormous potential once it has finished divesting itself of its assets. Lumen shares are now inexpensive, but investors need to exercise patience with this stock. A buy rating and a fair value estimate of $16 has been assigned to Morningstar's shares, which had a closing price of $11.03 on August 1st. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.